Hi, my name is Anthony, and I am currently working on my Bachelor of Science degree in Pre-Professional Biology at the University of West Florida. Uh, typically, people go into a pre-professional degree in their undergrad for a few different reasons. Um, pre-professional just means the beginning, um, going towards a professional school later on, such as pharmacy, medical, dental. I am currently going towards uh, medical school, and I'm actually already accepted to a medical institution in the state of Florida uh, and I'm going to be starting in a couple months. Um, typically for me, uh, mostly all the pre-professional biology is pretty much the same. It's the upper level electives like for medical um, it's going to be something towards histology, the study of blood, immunology, it would be um, geared towards genetics, things like that. While pharmacy would be geared towards more of an understanding of pathways and um, chemicals towards like pharmaceutical types of drugs and things like that. The pre-professional biology major has a, quite a few different types of classes you need to take. Uh, for example, you have to take uh, general physics or university physics, uh, inorganic and organic chemistry, biochemistry one and two, ecology, developmental biology, comparative animal physiology, a lot of different biology courses. A few pretty interesting and pretty fun types of classes I have done was uh, I actually enjoyed ecology even though I'm more of a medical professional ecology is more geared towards environment and things like that but this summer I was actually able to go out and actually collect specimens like fish and crabs and things like that actually wearing swim trunks and actually going out with nets into the bay and actually collecting uh, different types of animals that I'm going to have to learn about. Um, for other uh, types of research I have also done was something geared towards uh, genetics where I've actually taken people's DNA and actually amplified it get and then after amplifying the DNA cutting it and determining if they actually have risk factors towards colon cancer which is actually pretty interesting because I'm going towards the medical field and I'm going to be going towards a primary care type background uh, where I would actually be maybe someday actually going towards and actually working with people that actually have colon cancer or have any um, predisposing uh, risk factors for that type of cancer. Uh, in my opinion, and my most favorite uh, part about my major is that I'm able to work with others in lab where you actually have your own lab partners and you guys work together to determine or try to find what you're supposed to be tested on. You're working together with other people to actually figure out uh, or solve a problem. Um, I like working with others and that's what my major really kind of pushes people towards. But on that same side of being on my major, there are some hard portions about it. Uh, typically with a science type of degree, you're going to have a lecture where you're sitting in class, but you're also going to have a lab portion where you're actually working with your hands. Uh, pretty much you're going to have to juggle between lecture classes, which is more of book work, and lab classes, knowing how to use the equipment and things like that. So time management is very difficult. Uh, and that is something that I personally have had and other people have had too, that you have to work on, is that you're going to have to have time to dedicate yourself to all these different portions of work while still having, you know, still like a social life, things like that. Because you want to be a person that has a balanced life, where you don't want to just be straight academic, where that's all you're doing is becoming all book work, but you also want to have friends and things like that. You want to have a balanced life, which I think would make you a happier, more efficient student overall. When I first started my major, I really didn't understand uh, where to start, where to begin. Uh, some advice that I wish I was told and I would love to give to other people is that you should join some organizations around campus. If you join organizations towards like in my, uh, in, uh, personally, I had to go towards medical. So I didn't know what type of medicine. I knew I wanted to go into medicine, but what type of medicine? So what I did was I actually joined a few organizations, which I started early on, which I'm glad I did, because typically most students wait a couple of years and after that it, they start realizing maybe this major isn't for them so if you can get uh, into these different organizations see these different types of medicine and then you actually trigger that love for medicine that passion for medicine and like or in any other major this passion that you'll know for 
definitely that this degree or this major is for you. I know for professional schools, they want someone that's the top, the best students. And that, does, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean just being in grades and scholarly. This also means working with others, being maybe a uh, officer of organizations, a historian, a secretary, a treasurer, president, vice president. Uh, just dedicating yourself, maybe even volunteering. I typically go to actual clinics or uh, soup kitchens and help people because that doesn't just, uh, this doesn't just bring out a scholarly type of student. This also brings out a person that's compassionate for others that will actually bring that passion into the field and into the work that they're gonna do later. I wanna become a passionate physician, so why not start now? I'm not a physician yet, but I'm going on the right track. Something else I would like to add is that this major takes a lot of classes, and if you start early and you plan ahead uh, the classes and the coursework you're gonna do early on, you can make this into like a four-year major, which it should be, but some people run the mistake of not starting their science classes early and these on these small basic classes early, so they actually put this into a five-year major, which no, no one wants to do. Start your science classes early, because you are a science major, and the faster you get those done, the faster you can go into those upper-level courses that really take your time, really takes a big portion of your time in the major, and those are the really important classes that are going to affect you know your overall GPA and your understanding of, for my, for my particular major, the biology subject, the biology field. Uh, typically, I would say start with your chemistry because that is a four semester long where you, class where you have to take chemistry one, two, then organic chemistry one and two. And all those classes are required for dental and medical institutions. So I would begin with those. So those will give you the basics and understanding of you know the biology and the chemistry and the understanding so you can start your upper level courses that will bring you towards the end of your major so you can graduate um, and if you do it properly you can get it done in a good amount of time